Move into another litter here with lot 17, lot 18, and lot 19. Uh, lot 17 would be the one that Levi's got hooked up there. Uh, she'd be the dash one gill. This is a, the 11 litter. Um, dash two will be the black legged female and then dash five will be the only male that we offer in this particular litter. Um, so this particular sow, um, pedigree wise on these pigs would be carpet cleaner, sparky. Uh, I know what everybody's thinking. Uh, what in the hell are those things? Uh, I'll just be cut and dry with you. Carpet cleaner would be a full maid in blood to the champion, uh, Berkshire Gilt at the 2022 Illinois State Fair shown by Lane Byers and the Reserve Berkshire Barrow shown by Taylor Rhodes. Um, so that would be a hog that we would have uh, kept back out of that particular litter. Um, and uh, basically that one would also be a litter mate to uh, Mary Carter Shirley's uh, fifth overall bear there at the Tennessee State Show. Uh, carpet cleaner, we call him uh, carpet cleaner because we got him down to Georgia and he wouldn't drive on the carpet and uh, kind of ironic that we're showing uh, some of his offspring on carpet <laughs> here today. Uh, Sparky on the bottom side, he would be a double bread shut your mouth. Um, and that's what that sow would be. That sow, if you follow our program, would have had the 38s last year um, and would have had uh, the two class winners at Illinois State Fair for the Nordmeyer family and then the champion Berkshire Guild. Uh, I believe she was reserve overall there at their county as well and then the champion uh, Berkshire Barrow at their county as well. So um, carpet cleaner uh, would be a gladiator cold water under Armour shut your mouth and then Sparky is a double bred shut your mouth. So a uh, little bit of shut your mouth in there. Shut your mouth when you're talking to me <laughs> um, in there. But uh, uh, I think a, a, a very good trio and, and we like these quite a bit, even though they're not out of uh, maybe popular uh, hogs that are in boar studs. But I, I think uh, very, very good animals. Yeah, You shut your mouth when you're talking to me. <laughs> For those of you who don't know that, that's a wedding uh, crashers reference. So uh, the the guilt here would live up to the hype. Uh, very good animal. Um, if this ain't your kind of Berkshire guilt, then I don't know what kind is because uh, this one uh, you could, I don't know where you'd critique her a, a whole heck of a lot at. Um, I mean, her just her build from her shoulder blade back is about ideal i mean you I, I know we don't talk about this and in, in females as much as we probably need to but that thing has got a beautiful underline uh her hip and hind leg is built near ideal in my opinion her shoulder angle is ideal her rib cage is ideal um, she's got a stout mug on her but yet she's still clean in her neckline i mean everything about that guilt reads quality yet still her maturity pattern looks like she's just going to get better every day of her life. Um, I, I I don't know. If you're looking for a Berkshire guild, I don't know if you're going to find one much better than that, in my opinion. Um, the other guild I haven't looked at as much because I'm getting distracted by the one. Um, the white, white-legged white guild there in the corner, if Levi can pull her out. I mean, uh, it's, it, you could tell she's a mate. I mean, there there is a, still a lot of quality in that animal. I don't think she's quite as dense. You know, maybe as her litter mate sister there, uh, but uh, and just maybe just not as as far along in terms of, of bloom. She's not as punchy, but her her build is very very good. Her her upper line is good. Um, way her head and neck ties into her blade is good. She just looks like honestly she needs a couple more or a week or two more just to kind of bloom up and and uh, get looking like her her sister uh because all the parts and pieces are there and the squareness and the build and the athleticism is all there uh she's just here again not quite as punchy in there in the center portion of her body uh the barrow is a very good animal or the boar pig here i guess i should say um patterns and balances uh, really good for a berkshire his his look out in front of his blade in this breed is is uh, second to none in that regard i mean usually you got to fight a little more you know, lower throat in uh, a Berkshire, and, and that thing is pretty trim there. Um, legs are plenty big. Rib cage is good. You know, like I said, balance and, and quality here is very good as well. I think a very good trio with a heater, heater of a Berkshire Guild in this pen, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, this sow has done a nice job for us. She's only had uh, probably, I think, two litters here, uh, and uh, – 
you know, those ones that uh, we sold last spring, those 38s, uh, looked a lot like this. Uh, I believe she was bred to Rocky Road there at Crossroads and uh, decided to do uh, just a little bit uh, something different this time and, and kind of line some things up. But I will tell you from a feature standpoint, uh, you'll look on the camera and you'll look in their photos and you'll say, well, they've got enough. Um, you won't call them just super, super dense. I will tell you that uh, from a feed bucket perspective, um, those ones out of that sow last year were probably some of the largest uh, bone columned birchers that we've ever put together. I mean, they were absolutely ginormous legged. Um, I remember getting a backdrop photo uh, of one of the Nordmeyer hogs and uh, and I asked him to send me another one just to make sure that his legs were that big because, man, they were they were absolutely ginormous. So uh, feature is not going to be an issue here. But uh, all three of these, I think, are darn sure quality. Uh, Brett hit it on the head. You like one that's ready today and ready to go and, and brings all the pieces and the parts. Uh, dash one's for you. You want one that's a little bit later in the game, jump on dash two. I think uh, that one will still be memorable just from a, a color pattern standpoint. Uh, maybe just hasn't taken off. And, and then the male pig in the litter. Uh, I don't know if you could draw up uh, a Berkshire male uh, any better than that one. Uh, I think uh, he's just quality all the way through. Uh, he's ultra square. He's got a good skull about him, but still a tight throat latch. Um, super, super uh, good in terms of his lines and his levelness. Flat back, good looking, and can still get out and roll. So a really, really good uh, trio of Berkshires here. Again, carpet cleaner, sparky. Um, this will be lots 17, 18, and 19.